the hundred K a month play. Uh, listen, there's a couple phases to this. All right. There's, there's a couple steps that you got to take along this journey. Uh, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, a lot of you watching this video right now, like you're probably just stepping into high ticket sales. Maybe you have a, a little bit of experience. Maybe you have no experience at all. Uh, I want to give you the roadmap here so that, you know, you can, you can plan your actions, right? Something, um, one of my, uh, mentors used to tell me all the time is that, Hey, like all the extra work that you're doing right now, you're going to get paid for it down the road, right? You're not going to pay for it now, but you will get paid for it down the road. And that's going to be a common theme uh, in this video, because I want you guys to know that, that taking an initi initiative, learning new skills, self-development, doing the extra work now is going to pay off an insane amount in the next three to five years if you take the right step. So let's jump into it. First of all, the very first step, no matter how you get into this, every single like billionaire, multimillionaire, every single successful entrepreneur that I know started in some form of sales, right? And this is exactly where you're going to start. Listen, if you have zero experience whatsoever, it doesn't matter. Your goal here is to just get a sales job, get on some type of an offer, preferably high ticket online, selling for an info product. Um, I have videos on my page explaining how to do this. I'm not going to get too deep into how to find a client right now. Uh, I'm just going to talk about what it looks like, right? So once you land your offer uh, and it has this good lead flow, it's got a good commission structure, a good price point on your offer. It's like, okay, cool. Now you have the runway to go and earn 10 grand a month once you put in the work. Okay. So uh, what that looks like right here, this is how you get to the next step. The next stage is going to be becoming a top closer on, on your offer and becoming the guy on the offer that you're selling on. Okay. How do you do that? Um, just so you guys know, I got into sales with very little experience, uh, confidence problems, insecurities. I was anxious when I spoke to people. Uh, I was afraid to pick up the phone a lot of the times. I had fear of rejection, all of that. You name it, I probably had it. Um, when I started sales, it used to piss me off because a lot of my close friends at the time were also selling and they were crushing it because for them, it came naturally. For me, it did it. All right. I made a decision. Okay. Listen, if, if it doesn't come naturally for me, if, if I can't just close deals effortlessly, uh, I'm going to take all of these steps right here. Right. So I made a decision to outwork everybody, right. Take more calls, work more hours, uh, higher energy, higher enthusiasm than anybody else. Right. Uh, I made a decision to out improve everybody. Right. So I was watching sales videos, reading sales books. I was listening to my call recordings. I made a commitment. Okay. How can I get 1% better every single day? Okay. And I got my personal development dialed. I'm like, shit, like I'm not making the money that I want. Let me step into the type of person that is earning 10 grand a month. That, that was my, my first goal. And that's probably your first goal. How can I step into the type of individual that's making 10 grand a month? That individual, they're not smoking weed. They're not drinking like an idiot. They're not partying. Uh, they're not, you know, doing a lot of the, the bullshit that holds us back, that kind of person that's already 10 grand a month, he's in the gym, he's reading books every single day, he's focused on self improvement, okay, you do this stuff, I promise you guys, most people don't do it. Like 90% of people don't do this stuff, and they don't make a commitment to outwork out improve and get their personal development dialed in, you do this, I don't care how stupid, how bad at sales you are, um, how low confidence you are, you are going to be a top closer one day, okay. Um, now once you're here, now you're in a position where you're doing 10, 20 grand a month. Okay. You're, you're crushing everybody on your team. You're the guy, uh, your close rate, probably 40 to 60%. Uh, that's where you'll be. You know, you're taking 10 calls a day. You're closing five of them. No problem. At this point, you're in, you're in an interesting position because you can actually negotiate a higher commission. Nobody ever told me this and I had no idea that you could do this. So I never actually asked for it. Uh, but once you get to this spot, like understand that you can do this. Like it is a possibility, right? Like you're an extremely valuable asset to your company if you are out closing everyone else, right? Um, so understand that, right? I mean, sometimes it'll be like a flat rate. You know, sometimes you can just get a higher rate right off the bat. Um, a lot of the times it's more likely it'll be like a tiered commission structure where the first 50K that you close, uh, it's, uh, you know, commission at 15%. Everything after that, everything above 50K is a commission at 20%, right? It might be, I've seen it also where it's based on close rate, right? Where it's like, okay, if your close rate for the month is upwards of 40%, you get 20% commission on all your sales, right? If it's below 40%, it's 15 or it's 10 or, or whatever, right? Just understand you have some leverage there. Speak with your manager, speak with the business owner on your offer. 
uh, see what you can do there to bump up your um, your commissions and what you're making every month. To be honest with you, uh, 20, 25, 30 grand, like that's kind of the cap of where you'll be as a, as a closer. I mean, I've, I've seen people do 40, 50 grand. I, I know somebody who's done a hundred grand a month as a closer, but you know, it's not, it's not super common. Like you really have to be on like a, a unicorn type of offer and you have to be like an insane closer. Um, let me, let me walk you through the play of, of how you can actually get to hundred K a month conservatively. Okay. So there's a couple more steps here. Let me walk you through it. The next natural phase, once you are that top closer and you've kind of capped out at 20, 25 grand a month, now you're going to step into a management role. Okay. Now you're going to step into a sales leadership position. Okay. Your ability to sell and your ability to lead are probably the most valuable skills that you will ever learn in your entire life. All right. Uh, and, and, and just a quick side note, by the way, um, if you zoom out here, every single jump requires you, that you learn a new skill set. Okay. A lot of people get stuck at a certain income and like, they just can't break past it. And they think that they just have to work harder, work more hours, go crazy. No, you have to, you have to learn a new skill. Right. Uh, and that's how that's how multimillionaires, billionaires think. Right. It's all it's all based on skills and being efficient with your time and your inputs to outputs. Right. But anyways, um, this is where we want to be. Right. So as a sales manager, uh, you're usually doing like 10 hours a week of management. You honestly don't need to be doing much more than that. If you are, you're inefficient. Uh, you're doing 10 hours a week of management and you're earning at least two to five percent a residual on everyone else's sales on all the guys that you're managing. So like, let's say your team is doing, you know, a quarter million a month in revenue, right? Which, which honestly is like really conservative. It's pretty low. Um, like let, let's say it's a quarter million a month. Uh, if you're earning a 2% commission on that, that's about 5k a month residual that you're making I'm working 10 hours a week extra. Okay. Um, so get good at this skill. All right. Uh, what you're doing is you're going to be training uh, you're going to be doing probably like two to three management calls like group meetings with your sales teams every week you're going to be doing one-on-ones with your guys um, for the guys that aren't performing you're going to be putting extra work into them you're going to be tracking kpis as well so kpis are key performance indicators um, you know you're looking at okay how many book calls do we have coming in every week what's the close rate um, you know what's the earnings per lead in general, what does it look like for each individual, right? You're, you're basically just playing a numbers game. You're pulling strings, finding areas of weakness and making improvement, right? Um, I don't know if I just confused the fuck out of somebody watching this video, but once uh, once you kind of learn the game, it becomes pretty straightforward. Here, here are the steps that you need to take to get there, okay? A uh, couple things. First of all is take, take initiative on this, okay? Start doing this before you're getting any type of residual for it. Um, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, what you're saying, you're saying work and not get paid for it. I'm not doing that. Motherfucker, get, get off the video if that's you. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to speak to the, the high performers, the high achievers, guys who are ambitious. All right. Uh, this is something like I remember when when I was, um, you know, when I was doing pretty good as a closer, you know, and uh, I was asked to step into more of a leadership role. Like I was excited about it. You know, like I, I didn't ask for any money for it in the beginning. I was like, hey, yeah, let me do it. Let me learn the skill. Let me work with some of these new guys who are coming in and, and help them get onboarded. Right. So take initiative with it. Right. If you see new guys coming in, take some time, work with them, help them get better. If, um, you know, you see someone on your sales team, they're kind of underperforming. Hop on calls with them. See if you can help them improve. Right. Uh, study sales leadership, right? So like actually actively learn about this uh, because it is a different skill, right? The skill of sales and the skill of sales leadership and sales training are two very different things. Everything that I've ever learned uh, in my five-year career of managing sales teams uh, came from two people, uh, my business partner, Dylan, uh, and the example that he set and Alex Hermosi videos. Okay. He has a lot of videos where he goes on for like an hour uh, where he really breaks down like the numbers and the, the cadences and, and the way you want to go about your meetings and the strategy and the approach. Uh, I would, I would definitely look into some of that stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff out there, but that's what worked for me. Uh, also, as you're doing this, right, you're taking initiative, you're learning, uh, vocalize that you want to be a manager, right? So, so whoever it is, that's your higher up, whether it's a business owner or your current manager, I'd probably talk to the business owner, not the guy that you're trying to take his job. Um, go talk to the business owner, let them know, Hey, listen, um, I, I really want to move up and, and be a leader on this team one day. What are the steps? What are the actions? What are the metrics that I can hit to go and be that leader? Right. Basically set up a criteria for yourself, right? Don't just be entitled to it. A lot of people are very entitled these days. Uh, 
ask, hey, what are the things you want to see from me so that I can get this role one day? What are the things that I need to do where it would just be stupid for me not to be in a leadership position, right? Figure out what those things are uh, and then you'll get that gig. Okay, awesome. Now you're earning 20 grand a month. You're making an extra like five, 10 a month on top of that in residual managing your teams. You're doing very well. Um, all right, the next step is my guys who want to take this thing to another level because there is so much more that's possible here, guys. Uh, the world of online business, online information, online marketing, like it is exploding and it is literally just getting started. Um, if you really position yourself here over the next few years, there's going to be a lot of money on the table. There's a lot of money on the table today. Uh, so your next step right here is becoming a partner, okay? Uh, becoming what's known as an intrapreneur. Uh, everyone thinks that, you know, you need to become an entrepreneur Everyone tells you to go build a business, some kind of Amazon drop shipping agency, uh, whatever, to make serious money, to create generational wealth. I'm probably one of the first people that's going to tell you that that is not, a, not at all true. Like for me personally, I, I, I'm ambitious like an entrepreneur. Like I want uh, to have my back against the wall sometimes. Like I want to be paid in proportion to my performance. However, I don't like the idea of having 50 grand, 100 grand a month in expenses. I don't like the idea of having everybody depending on just me. I don't like the idea of having sleepless nights and you know, having a crazy amount of stress. I would rather become an entrepreneur where I become an extremely valuable asset to the business, so much so that I become irreplaceable where they have to give me some kind of equity or profit share so that I'm paid in direct proportion to the business's performance. Okay. That's what you are. Um, you're irreplaceable. The business needs you. So they give you a piece and you've spent nothing by the way, to get that. All you've done is just been valuable. And because your skill set is irreplaceable, a lot of the times I get this opportunity, right? And you should be working towards getting this opportunity. So really quick difference between equity and profit share. Equity basically means you own a piece of the business. So, you know, if you own 5% of the business and one day the business is sold for 10 million, you'll make half a million just like that, right? Uh, uh, and, and there's different ways that you can structure this. Um, I'm not going to get into that. A profit share basically means that you just get a percentage of the profit every month, quarterly, yearly, right? Something like that. And this could be done in a bunch of different ways. Um, once you get it though, you're set. So really quick, the math, and then we're gonna talk about how you can actually earn an opportunity like this. So I love this type of math, um, right? What, writing down your goals, writing down a big ambitious goal, and how are you actually gonna get there? So let's talk about it. Uh, really quick, this is assuming your offer is doing about a million a month. Um, which is like probably a lot more common than you think. A lot of online offers there, they should be around this range. There's a lot of online offers that are doing 10 million a month, you know? Um, so I just, I just don't want you to think like, oh, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to find a business like this. They are all over the place. Okay. Um, assuming that the business does 400 K, uh, 40% profit margins, you're earning four, 40 grand a month, earning a 10% profit share. All right, let's say um, personally, you're doing 200 grand in sales, 20%, you're earning an extra 40 on top of that. Let's say your sales team that you're still managing is doing 800 grand in sales. That's a 3% commission, you're earning 24 on top of that. It's 100 grand a month monthly, about 1.2 million annually. Okay, insane numbers. And it's pretty realistic. Uh, again, when you position yourself correctly, when you become irreplaceable to a business that's generating a million a month. How can you do that? Let's talk about it. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can go about this. Okay. Um, for, first things first, um, I want to talk about, you know, again, the, the entitlement, right? Um, especially with this, we spoke about it with the management, but especially with this, you have to earn it. You don't have to, it's not that you think that you're irreplaceable, but you have to be objectively irreplaceable. If you got hit by a bus tomorrow, the business will take a massive hit and it would take them years to find somebody with your skill set, with your expertise to come in and fill your role. Until you can say that confidently, you haven't earned profit share and you haven't earned equity. Okay, this might take you years to, to work up to this point, but it's obviously worth it. So how are you going to do that? Uh, you're going to combine your sales and industry expertise with a new skill. The really cool thing about sales and the reason why I tell everybody, you know, when you're young and you're trying to get into the space, like, 
uh, start with sales because you're going to learn everything about the business while you're closing deals. Like, like you're basically getting just as a closer, you're getting a paid mentorship working within a business that's earning millions of dollars a month. When I was selling for Ty Lopez and we were literally doing millions of dollars a month and I'm just a closer, I'm sitting there, I'm working with one of the most, one of the biggest online coaches in the world. I'm seeing how he operates, how he performs, right? How, how are the other you know, departments of the business working? How does fulfillment work with um, you know, people who are, who are sold? How does the marketing work? How does the operations work, right? What does the day-to-day -day look like? It's like, I'm learning all of these things. I'm getting a masterclass on all of this while I'm a salesperson, right? So you're gonna learn a lot of these skills while you're closing. Um, but you also want to actively learn some of these skills, right? So like here, here are some of the big ones, right? Like uh, you can become a director of sales where it's basically sales management just on a different level where like you would work with sales managers and you would make a lot of the big decisions. Uh, you might get really good. Maybe like fulfillment is your thing where you become a, a part of the offer where you're doing like coaching calls or you're speaking at events or you know, you're just a major part of the product that's actually being sold, right? Maybe it's operations, right? Where you're building out systems, you're hiring, firing, um, putting together teams, right? Maybe it's marketing uh, where, you know, you're, you get really good, like you use that skill of sales that you've developed. And then now you start doing marketing, which is basically sales at a larger scale where you're running ads, you're building funnels, you're doing copywriting, right? Maybe that's something you transition into. Maybe it's your personal brand, right? Maybe as you go about it, you build up your personal brand uh, and you become a new source of leads. Like you become a new face of the client that you're selling for, right? Like that's, that's something that's going to make you irreplaceable, um, especially when you can do it right, when you can almost become an influencer within the brand. Like that's actually what I do within my offer, Millionaire Closers, right? Um, and then obviously, same thing like I mentioned earlier, speak to the business owner, let them know, hey, Listen, like, like one day I want to be an equity partner in the business. What steps can I take to earn that one day? What would that need to look like? What can I do to make that happen? You know, and, and by the way, business owners want to do this for you, right? Like, like it's not a big ask. Like if, if, if they can find a top performer with, within their business and then give them a small piece, all of a sudden, boom, that, that um, individual within the business, which is you, now you're just going to take your work ethic and your skill development to a different level. Right now, all of a sudden, your success comes down to the business's success and every single thing that you do is going to be focused on how can I make the business more money, which is going to make the business owner more money, right? Business owners, they, they want to give this to you, but you have to be the right person. You have to have the right skills. And like I said, you have to become irreplaceable, okay? Um, now, listen, this is going to be a long journey. Uh, this is something that will take you probably years. Uh, it, it'll definitely take you years. Um, but there's there's going to be some nuances. There's going to be some things that go on. But I just wanted to make this video to let you know that it is absolutely possible. Okay, this is the journey that I've been on since 2019 when I dropped out of school, broke, busted, and disgusted. And I went all in on an industry that barely existed at the time. And, you know, I really just made this channel because I want to share the things that I'm going through, the things that I'm learning with you guys so that you can go and hit your goals faster than I did. Okay. So, uh, take this stuff. Uh, if this is your sign to, to get to work, start so many people are like, like we can make like a new square right here because they're just not moving. They're watching videos online and like you're learning, but you get stuck in the state of paralysis analysis for years and you do nothing. Okay. This is the start line. Okay. This is where you begin. And then after that is going to be years of personal development, of growth, of highs, of lows. And it's, it's going to be so fulfilling and so exciting, but like people just get stuck right here where they're just doing nothing. They're just learning about it. Okay. Don't be that person. Take action on this stuff. There's never been more opportunity in this space. Uh, start with some of my content. Um, you know, I, I post a lot of stuff that'll basically teach you everything that you need to know to learn sales, to find a gig, to increase your commissions and take this thing up a, a few notches after that. Uh, check it all out. Um, and uh, by the way, if you'd like to work with me and my team to help help you through this entire process, especially getting placed on an offer and, you know, increasing your commissions to this 10 to 20 grand a month range, I do have a program where I train and place guys. Uh, do not book a call if you're not serious. Uh, link will be down below. Check it out and I'll see you guys there. Guys, have an amazing rest of your day. All the best.